Ladies and gentlemen, babies and elephants, welcome to another new video. My name is Bosley, and today I want to bring for you guys Ethereal Nice Ignite Elementalist. Uh, this is a very budget build, part of my new budget series for the new Sanctum League, and I must say the Sanctum League has been very enjoyable so far. I really love this league. Uh, I really had a bad experience last week. I'm pretty much sure everyone else is having the same problem as well, but hopefully I feel that it's a bit better now. Uh, whether it's still as good as before, we don't know. No complaints. But still, every league, it's still very enjoyable in its own way, for me at least. So this is a very uh, budget build. Um, I'll actually go through a few stuff. I'll go through with the build guide and stuff like that, like the usuals. And also, I'll go through a little bit on the leveling guide as well, on what skills to level, and uh, when do you switch your skills. Uh, some of the skill tree and some of that I'll put in as much information as I can that is relevant Now for this build uh, as you can see in the showcase before the clear speed is absolutely phenomenal um, The only thing it lacks is just the uh, single target, but we'll go more on that later on uh, How is it a budget? Well, most of the gears are unique and uh, Actually, you don't really ha the defensive layers are okay as well so uh, the budget will be I think about 70 to 80 chaos for the whole set of gears uh, nothing much on the jewels as well and you have a pretty much smooth time going through all the maps uh, up until like red maps uh, I haven't really tried tier 16 yet because currently now I am at a level 87 uh, I haven't gone to tier 16 I think the highest I got up to like 14 or something but uh, at 14 you're still okay I'm still doing quite fine so I think on red maps you'll do fine as well whether or not this is like uh, end game bosses and all that, I haven't really tried much. Uh, the only thing I think you will uh, actually uh, face that you was you might suffer is just the uh, uber bosses and stuff that might not be as smooth as you think. But overall, the clear speed is just absolutely fun. Okay, now we're gonna start off with the ascendancy as usual. Now the ascendancy we went for with uh, is the elementalist. Now the elementalist, the first thing you want to start is you want to pick up. Shaper of Flames as soon as you can because we are going for Ignite build. Now, um, before you get your first Ascendancy point, do not use EK first because EK will be like full phase and stuff. So the first thing, uh, as soon as you get Shaper of Flames, that's when you switch to uh, Ethereal Knives. Okay. Before that, you might want to use something else. So usually I will go for Rolling Magma. Now Rolling Magma is a really fun skill because it's like a bowl rolling down and then you will chain and stuff and then you will burn. Uh, I, I find that it's actually quite a good skill to use, especially for leveling uh, in terms of damage, in terms of clear speed, it's still decent. So I would say go for Rolling Magma, link with like combustion and stuff. And then after that, you switch to uh, Ethereal Nice as soon as you get Shaper of Flames. Now before that, do not go for Ethereal Nice just yet. Uh, this is the first ascendancy point now. The next one you want to go for will be Mastermind of Discord. Hold on here. Uh, Mastermind of Discord, that will be the uh, second skill that you want to get. And then after that, you want to move on to Heart of Destruction. This will give you a lot of elemental damage, uh, which is Convergence. Now, Convergence gives you 30% more elemental damage. It lasts for 4 seconds. And then when you hit a unique enemy, uh, not more than every 8 seconds, after that increase 60% area of effect while you don't have convergence, okay? And then the last one, you want to get Shape of Storms because all your damage will be Lightning and Shocked and all your damage will be Flame and Ignite, so you will get Shocked will uh, allow the uh, enemies to take increased damage and then after that Ignite to burn them. So this is the Ascendancy, so 1, 2, 3 and then 4. That's the Ascendancy. <coughs> Next, we will talk about the gear choices. Now, the gear choices here is pretty simple and really, really budget. Uh, it holds quite a decent amount of defensive layers as well. Uh, in terms of the defensive layers, uh, like resistances, we have 79%, which is uh, okay. A bit a bit above average, thanks to the uh, Cephal's frame. Uh, we have uh, 205 uh, life regeneration. Uh, we, have, we don't need mana regeneration because we're running Eldritch battery, as you can see here. And then uh, we have like about 60% uh, physical damage reduction, including of uh, Molten Shell, that will be about 65%-ish. And this amount of damage. So uh, the gear for our clear speed will be Obliteration. Now this one currently now will be running about like 1 to 2 Chaos on the market, depending on how good of a roll it is. So let's just say about 3 Chaos for this one. 
Uh, the helmet will be Devoto's Devotion because of the move speed, Chaos Rest, and most importantly, the Dexterity. Now, this build is quite hungry on Dexterity and Strength, so you need to find other ways to fill in the Strength and Dexterity elsewhere. So, this is where I get my Dexterity from. Uh, and then, after the Sephal's Frame for good uh, Elemental Resistances. And then, uh, the, mainly, I use this because of the additional 4% of Maximum Resistances. It will, there are much more better shields, even a rare shield which is better out there. But currently now, I'm just using this for the time being as I'm on a budget. Okay, we are, Because we are only like what one week into the league, so it's still very fresh. And I'm still trying to farm my currency at the moment. Uh, on the amulet, this is like one of the game changers because of Gloomfang. Now, why is it a game changer? You may see that lose life for enemy with hits or spells or attacks. Well, that's not really a big problem because our life regeneration is quite decent and also we get leech on chaos damage and uh how does this work now it says here that projectiles that have chain gain 29 percent of non-chaos as extra chaos now if you are if you manage to chain it the damage will be significant like uh the, the additional 29 percent of non-chaos will be extra chaos so you're gaining extra 29 percent damage and also the projectile speed now, how to get this to work is that you need to actually interact with the skill called Hydrosphere. Now, later on, I'll explain on the gem links on how the, the link will work. So basically, you want to cast a brand that links the uh, Hydrosphere on the enemy. And then after that, you want to uh, blast your Ethereal Knives that will hit the Hydrosphere and then it will chain. So that's how you trigger the extra 29% of non-Chaos uh, Damage and extra Chaos. Uh, in terms of the, uh, what do you call, the anointment for the amulet, uh, I'm just using Ash, Frost and Storm uh, for additional elemental damage and increased effect of non-damaging ailments, which is our shock. Our shock will gain uh, additional uh, uh, effect of 30% and also gives us a chance to, 10% uh, chance to freeze, shock and ignite. Now, ideally you might want to get Charisma, which is... Uh, it should be this one. Yeah, Charisma over here. But this one will cost you two Golden Oils and one Opalescent Oil. So this is quite pricey at the moment. So I'll go for this one later on, but not right now. Um, This is the uh, Amulet. And then the Rings will be Circle of Anguish. Now this one I opted, uh, I opt for, opted for Herald of Ash, Increased Buff Effect, and Increased Mana Reservation and uh, Efficiency, that which allows me to fit in all the Auras currently I'm running around with 33 Mana left. So I'm running a Herald Purity, uh, Vitality, Ash, Termination, and Discipline. Um, potentially, you want to move this uh, to uh, Polaric Devastation, which is the ring that is everyone's getting. Uh, the, the, the only reason why you want to get that ring, because it covers enemies uh, in Ash when you ignite them. So when you cover enemies in Ash, they'll take more damage from fire skills, basically. So uh, currently, I'm just using this. Uh, it still does its purpose. It uh, increases the buff effect on my Herald of Ash. And also gives me uh, mana reservation efficiency, so that allows me to fit in all my auras. So I'm just using currently this one, and uh, I'm just using Pyre Sapphire Ring uh, on this one, just because it gives me a huge chunk of uh, burning damage, and also converts forty percent of my cold damage to fire damage. And ignited enemies, uh, enemies you kill by your hits are destroyed. Now, what happens when they are destroyed? When ignited enemies are destroyed, uh, they will. Especially, it actually uh, does a good, uh, it does something really, really, uh, it's something really important, is that, you know those enemies that are like the porcupines? Now the porcupines, uh, it's actually quite deadly, especially their, their, their spikes, their thorns when they come out, when they hit you. When a bunch of them, all the spikes hits you, you can potentially die most of the time. Now when you dis kill them and they're destroyed, uh, their spikes will not trigger because they're destroyed. That's why uh, this is actually quite good uh, in cert on certain uh, enemies or mobs uh, because it destroys them, which allows them, uh, which doesn't allow them to trigger whatever on death skills that they have. They have actually, and it's a very cheap. I think it's like two chaos ish something like that. So that's the uh, ring, and the gloves will be the zealot gloves. So this is just a rare glove. The most important thing from this glove is converting the physical damage to cold. And inflicting fire exposure on hit. So when you inflict, uh, when you have exposure on the enemy, that's when our send this uh, send skill comes in. The exposure will ex uh, um, apply extra twenty five percent of the affected resistances. 
and also regenerate mana, which is not important. So actually, this is the uh, to, to synchronize with this skill, uh, with this uh, mastermind of Discord, which gives you about potentially thirty six percent extra fire resist uh, reduction on exposure, and some resist um, and physical converted to cold. The belt actually does its uh, job really well. It costs about eight to ten chaos. The most important thing we want from this is actually the life resist and also the ignite will deal damage 35% faster so when you ignite them when you burn them they burn faster meaning you kill them faster since we're not doing any physical damage it's fine and the boots we are just using this uh, rare boots that gives us inflict damage deal faster as well 5% so 35 plus 5 that's 40% faster already on these two uh, equipment itself I just got a, a uh, an enchantment for attack speed and cast speed so it gives you uh, cast speed and attack speed faster and some light and some resist so this is basically the gear choices now the gem links excuse me the gem links here are quite uh, straightforward so actually we are using flame uh, flameability this is self cursed okay and uh, purity of elements I'm just leveling the skill gem I was using it before but I'm not using it anymore and Vitality, I'm using this now. This will give me some life regen. Uh, your Temporary Aura skill, which is uh, based on Divine Blessing. So it gives me about 23 seconds. Uh, here, you can see. It gives you about 23 seconds here for Hatred, which is more than enough to kill bosses and stuff. Or you can just trigger it again as soon as your uh, energy shield regens. So uh, Divine Blessing here with Flame Dash, uh, Hatred, and Increased Duration. Mainly is for Hatred. I'm just fitting the Flame Dash over here. Um, over here we have Arcanist Brand with Flame Surge, which is a single target skill for us to uh, go against the uh, single target. And also Hydrosphere, which I mentioned before. So when as soon as you cast the Arcanist Brand on the enemy, it will trigger the Hydrosphere and Flame Surge. So uh, the Hydrosphere will uh, trigger our chain and we gain extra damage. That's how we synchronize our skills. For the uh, Auras, we have like Discipline, Determination, Herald of Ash and Stone Golem for life regen as well. And Herald of Purity over here, we have Molten Shell and Portal. I love Portals, so you don't have to carry Portal Scrolls. So that, yeah, and the main gem links, sorry. The main gem links will be Call to Fire Support, Combustion, uh, Ignite Proliferation, Ethereal Knives, uh, Swift Affliction, and also Unbound Ailments. Now, uh, how it work is, we use our physical damage, convert them to Coal, and then after that, we convert the coal to fire, and then maybe some fire to chaos. So there's a lot of conversion because you gain extra coal damage when you have hatred or above, and then you convert, and then you get more damage, and you convert to fire. You actually potentially get more fire damage. So that's how uh, the build works. So basically, physical coal, fire, and then chaos. Okay. Now the flask choices is uh, flask. Uh, we're using a life flask. Uh, Amethyst Flask for some Chaos Resistances, uh, Quicksilver Flask, some Armor Flask, uh, Armor Granite Flask, and also uh, Silver Flask for Onslaught. So this is the Flask choices that we have. And uh, let's talk about the uh, Pantheons. So Pantheon, I'm just using temporarily now the Lunaris uh, Pantheon, and also the Shikari. So in case of the Poison hits, we take less duration, and you can't be poisoned if you have at least 3 Poisons on you. So that is the uh, Pantheon. In terms of the Bandits, we are killing all the Bandits and we're getting two extra skill points. And last but not least, we are talking about the Skill Tree. <coughs> now the Skill Tree, we start over here, which is the Witch. And then we want to go up here potentially and then move up to uh, Arcanist Dominion. And then after that, you want to pick up Heart and Soul and Practical Application. Now, the reason why here Practical Application because it gives us Strength and Dexterity which is why we are hungry for that one and also we get elemental resist sure uh heart and soul for life and mana and then after that fire walker over here for fire damage and then you want to move down here okay you do not pick this yet and then you want to move up here and pick up elemental overload as soon as you can and then after that you might want to pick up Ac uh, acrimony for more damage over time multiplier and then here you can pick up damage over time multiplier i forgot to change you up because i was using uh cruelty when i was leveling uh, I was meant to change this, so if you were to change this, you can actually change to um, 15 uh, damage, 15% uh, increase uh, skill effect duration or duration of ailments or enemies. You can use that one, or you can either go for damage over times if you kill recently. Either one. 
And then after that, you want to move up here and then pick up uh, Breath of Flames as soon as you can. So this one will increase a lot of your fire damage for your rolling magma. And then you want to move this way and pick up Holy Fire for fire damage over time multiply as well. After that, you can start to pick up all the life nodes, which is Purity of Flesh. Uh, you can pick up the Cruel Preparation. And then after that, you want to move over here and then pick up uh, Searing Heart for uh, Searing Heat for Ignites so that you deal uh, damage faster. So 15%, 15 plus from the gears, 45% uh, faster, which is a lot better. And then you want to pick up Eldritch Battery uh, whenever you feel comfortable, when you're short of mana, and then that's when you want to use your Energy Shield. So the good pairing with uh, Eldritch Battery is you have to pick up Wicked Ward. So Wicked Ward is whenever, you, uh, whenever your Energy Shield Recharge starters, uh, starts, you will not be interrupted by damage, okay? And then after that, you want to pick up uh, Influence over here for more mana reservation efficiency. And then after that, you want to pick up some Life Nodes, and then you can pick up Snowforge over here. So uh, Ignite, Igniter or Chill by you have additional minus 5 elemental resistances and Cold and Fire damage, which is potentially both our damage source. Here we have uh, Energy Shield Mastery. Uh, because our Energy Shield is constantly recharging, Right, so you can't be frozen that way, so we just cool. Uh one percent elemental damage leech as energy shield to regen our energy shield. Uh non cost aura have fifty percent increased duration, so increase more duration of the ignite on the enemy. Here we have uh fire dot uh multiplier and minor fire resist, but we are but we have plenty of fire resist, so it's fine. Uh I would say pick up breath of rhyme last. Like this is not the number one priority because this one doesn't give you a lot of damage boost, so don't worry about this one yet. And then pick up all the Herald, uh, Herald buffs over here. Discord, uh, Discord of Artisan and also Presage, I think. A reservation Mana here, which you see, extra 10% if increased effect on you. Uh, you might want to pick up the Agility Node over here for extra Dexterity. Uh, Asylum here for more Chaos Resist. And then here, Purity of Flesh, uh, Sovereignty. Uh, over here, we want to get Faith and Steel. Uh, uh, Divine Judgment for Elemental Damage. And Divine Fury for additional uh, penetration and also extra physical damage and fire damage. Why not? Uh, jewel Socket over here and last Devotion over here. Pick up rest of the Jewel Sockets and sock in uh, some Jewel Sockets that give you Life Dot, Multiplier and Life. Some of them over here and some Resist if you need them. Okay, uh, That's basically the whole build overall. Uh, as for the uh, leveling skills as I mentioned before, you want to use Rolling Magma. Uh, linked with uh, combustion. <coughs> as soon as you get the uh, first ascendancy skill point, which gives you the uh, sorry, what was that again? Which gives you the uh, shape of flames. That's when you can start to use ignite, uh, ethereal nice, and that's when you see everything pops on your screen. Late, uh, of course, you need to um, uh, what you call uh, use it, uh, pair it, pair, pair it with the uh, herald of ash. And Herald of Purity, which gives you a lot more damage as well, because it gives you more physical damage, which converts it to uh, fire and cold and so on and so forth. So Rolling Magma, you want to level with Rolling Magma first, and then after that you want to move on to Ethereal Knives, and then Ethereal Knives will pretty much carry you all the way to the end. It's just only two skill uh, that you need to change a skill, that's about it. And uh, you can pretty much run uh, any type of aura skill as soon as you can, uh, as soon as you're able to obtain them, right? Any aura skills is fine. Uh, overall, my experience with this build, the clear speed is just really, really good. Okay, now uh, I'll just give you guys something extra. I'll just run a map. I'll do a showcase here, so you can have a look and see how the map, uh, how the build feels like. So I'm just gonna run a high, highest tier that I have here. I have uh... okay. Since I haven't done this one yet, I'll just do this. All right. So this one, okay, the stats doesn't look too bad. Right, you need to corrupt it though. Okay, fine. So we have this. Let's just run it with. Uh, yeah, let's go with Siri X one as well. Let's see how well how well does this spell do. Uh, in terms of the uh, clear speed, it's just really really fun. You will see soon, and uh, how does everything pop? <sighs> let's hope the internet is well today because so far uh, recently the internet is really really bad in my area. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Starts to pop. I'm feeling a bit under the weather at the moment, so I apologize if you find the audio a bit disturbing or not satisfying. You know? Oh.
Uh, this is mainly all the obliteration doing the work because some most of the damage are converting to we get quite a few of uh, chaos damage as well, which is pretty cool, you know. Um, let's pick up this sanctum vault. Oh crap! Okay. Oh, we can't store this. We'll do this later then. Don't we'll waste time doing this. Oh, I'll give you a big pack. Oh, that's the pocket pie I was talking about. You see? Okay, they're all destroyed. So you're fine now. Shit, I can close it. Because of the ignite, right? Because of the damage. Uh, the the damage the ailment the ignite triggered a lot fast uh, burns a lot faster, so it kind it's not really an instant kill but it kind of gives you that feeling because it, the ignite is just so quick. Okay, here we have the boss. Collect the crafting recipe, pockets. Uh, here is when I will usually trigger my hatred because when it comes to single target, I think it's a bit. Uh, on the weaker side, yeah, but, uh... so we cast this, cast this, and then boom, boom. So it's gonna take some time. I wouldn't say that long, but you know, single target, pick on the weaker side, and this is a corrupted boss as well. Let's not die here. Oh. Okay, this is not good. Okay, we got it. And there we go. That's the uh, map showcase. I'll finish up this map after I finish the video. So overall, as you can see, the, the feel of the build is actually quite smooth. Um, the only thing I find lacking is the single target, but that can be fixed later on with more upgrades on the gears and uh, stuff like that. But either way, at the end of the day, this is a really fun build to play. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you guys have any comments or suggestions, please do, do, do drop a comment down below. If you like my video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps uh, support the channel and actually uh, motivates me to make more videos for you guys as well. And this is a real budget build. I hope you guys like it. If you have any comments, please remember. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.